Hey everyone, Nick Shaheen here looking at uh, pot stocks on Tuesday the 10th. Uh, just to see if uh, there's anything worthy of note. Um, so it looks like some of them had some potential at the open and then fizzled. Uh, for example, CGC had some news yesterday, I know, uh, CEO finally. And now it's given back about half the candle uh, th that it took out uh, yesterday. So that in itself is not reason to uh, get bearish on it again. Uh, anytime I see a rally that gives back half-ish, uh, that's part of normal price action. Uh, maybe they had, the other tickers have, like this is Aurora, ACB. Um, they had some sort of a sympathy move along with the um, CGC announcement, but it uh, looks like they they showed some promise and fizzled. Um, again, here we've got a rally this much, and we've got a give back of about half. So far, it's not bearish. Um, reason to short so it's not a reason to short so here where it failed is not a uh, surprise this is MJ altogether <clears throat> tells me that once they hit prior failure points onus is on the bulls to take it out so ideally what they want to do is teeter around and then get back at the neckline and see if they can take it out and then the next opinion the next step would be to hold it now we're talking MJ I came into this area here so Losing the neckline is not a problem as long as they maintain higher low and they don't they um, don't trigger any bearish uh, stories. So here also same kind of deal. We've got a tightening range, something you got to give. If they hold the bottom, then uh, the odds are is it going to be a breakout. So this is um, a PHA. This is Hexo. Hexo is looking okay so far because it. You know, this was a roof not too long ago. First, it was a ledge, then it was a roof. So that's bad news for the bulls. Then they came, they took it out yesterday. Now they're falling back into it. So you know what they say: prior um, resistance becomes forward support, and vice versa. So here it was uh, lost support, right? So now it became resistance, and then they took it out. What the heck is this? So anyway, maybe you know. <laughs> A late settlement, an awfully late settlement. This is ridiculous. So, this spike may have been to fix that, whatever happened here. Anyway, uh, back to the potential here. So, again, here we have about this much of a rally, uh, less than half given back. Uh, this is eyeball, but falling into neckline. So, Hexo is not that bad looking. Um, here, there's not much to tell. Medif, ticker, uh, lower highs kind of a base a really low low and a higher two hollow candles which tell me that they're like kind of leaving a tail behind them anytime i have a descending wedge odds are that they should break upwards but it would be with a tight stop so if i take a new trade i would have a tight stop where would i put the stop anywhere that fits my own um the uh, my own risk tolerance uh, GWPH is looking good today, is green, uh, on a green market day, by the way, <clears throat> started out red. So an emphatic rejection of yesterday's, and then boom, off to the races. Now, where is the resistance going to come? From the last, the two, these two days, this is two days worth of action. There are a few pointy areas. One is somewhere on here. The other one is clearly here. Actually, there's a mini one here somewhere. So... The bottom line is, yes, nice bounce. It's headed into short-term uh, resistance. Now, these are not walls. They're just short-term resistance. Um, it's good that they took out this area here, which was the high of three days ago, and they need to establish it as support. So as long as they can stay above it, they can meander higher. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, CRON, again, what the heck is this? Just to wash out with that. Uh, so clearly this whole section is resistance. Um, add to it that they j just established this as a resistance because it was yesterday's value area low, you know, kind of. So now they're falling back. Not ideal. You know, tightening range, you can argue. Something's got to give this way or that way. You be the judge. I'll wait for the actual price action before I decide. So this is the actual trading and I wanted to look at something. Um, oh, I wanted to see if uh, I can give you my 
as far as bug out levels. You know, I don't know, 2.55, this hollow candle right there maybe. It all depends on personal preference there and the size of the risk. So pot stocks have had a decent couple of days from the price action at least the like this sticker for example for cgc for acb uh, for hexo for um, uh, apha because they've rallied and they've given ac back some but they're still above the neckline so they can still use it as like this i don't like this i don't mind so if i'm long here i stay long until they lose the lows um, but this one is, I need to know more about it, so I would be hesitant on on Kron. So MJ all together looks like it has resistance. So ideally there, I want them to form an inverse head and shoulders. So if you don't see it, let me see if I can draw it. It's going to be tight to see. The idea is they have a neckline that they've been failing at. They have a, an inverse shoulder, an inverse head-ish, and they're process of pricing in a, a another inverse shoulder there so that's the question if they can do this and get above it then they can rally this much to maybe this number right there what the heck was that right anyway 18 so this is the idea there all right next signing out